Coming up next week, we will begin a three-part series on Catholic Communications' August Pilgrimage to Ireland. The series will be narrated by pilgrimage leaders Father Gary Daly and Father Matthew Alcombright. Today we have a preview for you showcasing some of the highlights of their faith-filled, scenic, and sometimes, from what I understand, a little harrowing journey. Hello, I'm Father Gary Daly. And I'm Father Matt Alcombright, and we'd like to welcome you to our 2015 pilgrimage to Ireland. One of the things about Bunratty Castle is just a little taste of what old Ireland was like. Killarney, known for its beautiful lakes, its parks, the jaunting car, which is a horse and buggy ride through the beautiful Killarney National Park. There's a lot of people in the Springfield area who left the Dingle area of Ireland and came to settle in our diocese. It was a rough ride, <laughs> but we made it through. True pilgrims make it through. 800 residents on that island, and the entire island's Catholic. All the inhabitants are Catholic. There was a Protestant church here, and it's no longer here. What a beautiful day we experienced at the Cliffs of Moore. Sunshine, hardly a breeze, and just being able to enjoy the scenery off that cliff onto the Atlantic Ocean. One of the beautiful things about Galway is that it's a town that's very much alive. There's a great history here. Connemara is noted for its marble and beautiful marble three, four different colors. Killamore Abbey is a very beautiful place. The Benedictine nuns are there, and the pilgrims had a wonderful opportunity to tour the grounds. Dan O'Hara's Heritage and History Center. To go into the little cottage there to see the hearth burning, to see how they get the turf and how they dig the turf and make all that for burning was very interesting. The heart of our pilgrimage, the Shrine of Our Lady of Knock in County Mayo. The holiness, the peace, the prayerfulness of that spot, it's like going to Lourdes and Fatima, going to those sites of the apparition of our Blessed Mother that are just so touching, so moving for people there. You can just see that holiness exuding out of every part of it. I really wanted to bring the people to this very special place, which is Doon Well. Catholics were prohibited from celebrating the sacraments in public, and so the priest would go to these hidden altars. Northern Ireland is especially uh, picturesque with the pastures and the, and the farmlands. The people are just incredibly welcoming. The one thing I think that really unites everybody in all of Ireland. Dunluce Castle, the spot where the inspiration for the Narnia series for C.S. Lewis. Just a beautiful castle to behold right on the edge of a cliff, right out in the water. Armagh is a very historical site, both with the Catholic Cathedral of St. Patrick's and the Church of Ireland Cathedral of St. Patrick's, literally 300 yards apart up on two different hills. St. Kevin's Monastery in that area of Glen Below, which dates back from the 6th century, and many of the buildings from the 10th and 11th century that were there, just a great place. We looked at St. Kevin, which was back in the 6th century. This, this is way before Christ. Absolutely, so, yeah. yeah. Pretty amazing. The Neolithic age, you know. We wrap up our pilgrimage with a visit to the Guinness factory dating back to the 1700s and also our farewell dinner with the pilgrims and just some lasting memories that they'll have of Ireland. Oh,